So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Fishing Planet video. Now in this video we're going to be going after the third monster fish known as the Dendrofin. Now here you can see the mission on screen for the Dendrofin and it's called Mudwater Dendro Spoon. Fish out five bits of tree bark from Mudwater River to craft a special wooden lure that'll be a super tasty treat for the wood hungry Dendrofin. So you have to travel to Mudwater River and catch underwater items tree barks and put them in the backpack so we need five pieces of tree bark from this river to actually make a special lure to catch this monster fish so you can see here just scrolling around on the map to get to Mudwater river and we're going to go there and start off by catching five pieces of bark now this is the location where i found it the easiest to catch these pieces of bark and you'll see why as soon as we actually go into the video so spawning in at that spot, you if you walk towards the water, you'll see this sort of Y-shaped piece of branch sticking out of the water. And if you cast near it, if you cast enough times, you should catch pieces of bark. Now, as you can see, I'm just using a simple spinning setup here. And it was just really easy to catch these pieces of bark. I just kept casting, pulling back in really quickly, and I was catching pieces of bark. Now, obviously, I wasn't catching pieces of bark every single time I casted out. But because it was just so quick to reel in on that max speed, that's it's just so quick, it just took no time at all. And once again, I always think that it's cool to actually have to do something in order to be able to go and catch these monster fish. I'm glad that it's not just a case of go here and catch it, you actually have to go and do something beforehand. And the whole process of catching these pieces of bark really intrigued me for this specific monster fish. I was very curious as to why it was going to be pieces of bark. And later on, it, it kind of ends up making sense. But if you end up doing this and you want to actually catch these pieces of bark so you can go and catch the dendrofin, I highly recommend just coming to this location and use a little spinning setup and just cast out and catch pieces of bark. It should be as simple as that. Now you can see here that is the last piece of bark that I actually needed and I actually got a challenge complete here as well getting the mud water junk collector which gave me a couple of bait coins so that was a nice little bonus while I was actually doing this but as you can see mission accomplished mud water dendro spoon great work you got the dendro spoon and are now ready to hunt for the dendro fin and you can see there the dendro spoon. Now I was really excited to actually go and catch this monster fish looking at the little picture that you can see there sort of up by the, the mission text i was really curious as to what this fish would actually look like in the flesh as it were so this was one that i was really excited for and i was also curious as to why we were using a wooden lure as i mentioned but like i said that ends up making a little bit more sense when i actually end up catching the fish and this was once again a really cool thing to end up doing i love this in fishing planet being able to go after these monsters is such a cool feature and i was super excited about it now, as you can see, this monster only eats in the middle of the day and at midnight for one hour. So I decided that I was going to go basically for the middle of the day. I thought that that would be better. Now, you can see here, this is the location, but you spawn at this point and then you have to turn around and head northwest along the path as far as possible to the last fishing spot along the bank. And that is where I ended up managing to catch this monster fish. Now, if you arrive at the right spot, this is what you'll see in front of you. If you can see these trunks and pieces of wood poking out of the water, then you are in the right spot. And it was actually these pieces of wood poking out of the water here that tipped me off that this might be the right location to actually catch this monster fish fish now you can see exactly where i end up casting out here in this video clip and now i'm going to actually catch the dendrofin so i will leave you with this clip and catch up with you after
so there we have it the monster dendro fin what a striking looking fish now i will turn and get it into some better lighting in a second but this is an incredible looking monster fish now something that ends up making a lot of sense about this is that the word dendro means relating to a tree or trees and taking a look at the, this fish it's obvious why it's called the dendro fin i mean look at the texture it's very clearly got like a wood sort of bark texture so this is a really really cool monster in my opinion it's basically a bowfin that's mutated to be like a living piece of wood almost and it's quite a fearsome looking fish with those golden teeth and glowing red eyes as well just really cool and honestly this might be my favorite monster fish so far it's really unusual and i didn't expect necessarily something like this this is quite out there and it ends up making a lot of sense why we were catching this thing using a wooden spoon and i just think it's really cool i love the sort of little stories that go along with these fish and I'm now not going to be surprised with anything that this game throws at me because a fish that's basically like a living piece of wood, it, like I said, is a lot more out there than I necessarily expected, but it makes for a really cool monster fish and a very beautiful monster fish. That wood texture where you can see all the beautiful like cracks of like, like wood, like a tree, is in my opinion really beautiful and it's got that sort of golden colour to it as well, which is just gorgeous looking but that is the dendro fin like i said a really cool third monster fish to actually catch and once again i'm looking forward to moving on to the next one and seeing what that one's going to be like and here you go now i have kept that fish mission accomplished mudwater dendro fin monster congratulations with your monster catch here are some great rewards for you so two bait coins there 3110 cash and 1130 xp as well of course as the dendro fin mount now once again this was a really awesome mission and a very cool monster fish i really enjoyed it and i cannot wait to actually move on to the next one and see what the next monster fish is like this one definitely felt a little bit more out there than the first two and i'm curious how much more out there these monster fish are going to get i can't wait to see if there's going to be some really crazy ones as we move on but there you can see reward dendro fin mount placed into your backpack and i ended up leveling up here to level 18 which is always handy i'm trying my best to level up as quickly as possible in this game so getting a nice level up after catching a monster fish is definitely a nice bonus but i will leave you with this screen of actually taking a look at the 3d model for the dendro fin and it's really cool because you can see it is a mutated bow fin and this screen gives you a really good look at the sort of the overall model for this thing i think it's gorgeous but that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you have enjoyed it and thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. And yeah, I can't wait to go and get my next monster catch. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you.